your kitchen waste into your Bokashi composting bin. Flatten it down to get all the oxygen out. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to make compost inside your kitchen. Now, using kitchen waste, we will show you how to make nutrient-rich compost inside your kitchen just in five weeks. Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I am Ali Raja, assalamu alaikum. So without further ado, dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. For centuries, farmers and gardeners have been using the traditional composting method to add nutrients to their soil. The traditional composting method is a long process and a very smelly process. It has to be done outdoors in a garden. Now today we're going to be using the Bokashi composting method. The Bokashi composting method is an amazing method which will turn your kitchen waste into compost a lot faster than your traditional composting method. And it can be done inside your kitchen without any bad smell or odour. To make Bokashi compost, you need a Bokashi composting bin. You need Bokashi bran and you need kitchen waste. Now, you could make your own Bokashi composting bin, which we will show you how to make one today. Or if you prefer, you could buy something like this one. Dad, how about I show everybody how to make the compost bin and you show everybody how to make the compost? That sounds like a plan. Let's do that. To make Bokashi composting bins, you need two containers with tight lids so no air and oxygen gets in. Now, these containers are a bit too big. They're not practical. So I recommend something this size is more practical and can fit inside your kitchen cabinets. Using a drill machine, make holes at the bottom of the container about one and a half inch apart but only in one container. As you can see, I have made holes at the bottom of this container, but only in one container. So this is how it works. The container with holes in it is going to sit inside the container without holes, just like this. Now that you know how to make Bokashi composting bin, let me tell you a little bit about Bokashi composting. The name Bokashi comes from a Japanese word for fermentation. This is Bokashi brand, the main ingredient for Bokashi composting. It contains wheat bran, molasses, EM1 microbes. It has millions of good bacteria. By adding Bokashi bran to your kitchen scrap, it will break down your kitchen scrap entirely by the fermentation. Now let's show you how to make Bokashi compost and Bokashi compost tea, which can be used as a liquid fertilizer in your garden. These holes that we created in one of the containers. The idea is when we add our kitchen waste in this container, adding the Bokashi bran, it will start breaking down and the fermentation process will begin. The juice from your kitchen scrap will start dripping out through this hole and it will collect in this container here, which is known as the Bokashi compost tea that can be used in your garden as a liquid fertilizer. This is a Bokashi composting bin that we bought from Amazon. It is purposely made for Bokashi composting. Now, I have collected um, banana, banana peels, tea bags, cabbages, um, lettuce leaves, man mango peel, avocado peel. Once you have added your kitchen waste into your Bokashi composting bin, for every inch of your kitchen waste, add one tablespoon of Bokashi bran. Sprinkle your Bokashi bran evenly over your kitchen waste 
and using a flattener, flatten it down to get all the oxygen out. After adding your first layer of kitchen waste into your Bokashi composting bin, don't forget to close the lid, air tighten it so no air or oxygen gets into it. Good thing about Bokashi composting, you could add all your kitchen waste into your composting bin. That include cooked and uncooked um, kitchen waste. That could be meat, fish, bread, even rice. Now collect your kitchen waste and add it to your Bokashi compost bin every day. And don't forget to add your Bokashi bran for every inch of um, kitchen waste you add to the compost bin. Add about a handful of Bokashi bran until it fills up. Once the bucket is full and it is sealed properly, allow it to ferment for two to three weeks. Now during this process, liquid will drip down to the bottom layer of your Bokashi compost bin. Now that liquid needs to be removed and can be used as a fertilizer in your garden. We've been collecting kitchen waste in this DIY Bakashi composting bin for the past two weeks. Let's check it out. Oh wow, that doesn't smell bad at all. It smells sweet and a bit cheesy. A successful Bakashi composting bin will smell sweet and is slightly cheesy and you may see visible white mold. If you don't see visible white mold, it doesn't mean it has failed as long as you don't see blue or black mold and you don't smell a disgusting rotting smell. Every few days, don't forget to check on the bottom layer of the Bakashi composting bin to see if there's any liquid that has to be removed. This is known as Bakashi tea. It can be used as a liquid fertilizer in your garden or in your indoor plants. By diluting it into water, add about 10 ml of Bikashi tea into one liter of water. Make sure you use it on the same day. You can't store this. This has been fermenting for the past two weeks. It's time to turn this into nutrient-rich organic compost by burying it into the soil. After two weeks, when your kitchen waste has been fermented, you should bury your kitchen scrap under the, under the earth by about six inches. You could bury it in a vegetable bed where you're going to be growing your vegetables this season. Or if you're growing uh, vegetables in a container, you could uh, bury it in a container. Uh, I'm going to be growing a uh, khodu in this container this year. In three weeks time, we will give you an update. We will show you uh, whether or not the kitchen scrap has turned into compost. Fingers crossed, it will turn into compost in three weeks time, hopefully. We really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please don't forget to like our videos. And please don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. And don't forget to leave us a comment, letting us know how you're finding our videos. Stay safe, Assalamu Alaikum, and until then I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening, Assalamu Alaikum, and I'll see you in the next one.